This is one of the cheapest mini PCs you can get. It's quite popular on Amazon, going for around $150 on sale, so hit the like button and let's see if it is worth the price. It's a GK3 Plus model from Camry. They are pretty successful at mini PCs. In the box you have a mini PC itself, nice packaging, next you have a manual, 30 watts power adapter with a barrel jack, right away very power efficient. Then we have an HDMI cable and a metal bracket with screws if you want to mount PC behind the monitor. Here's everything you get. I like that the HDMI cable is included. Let's take a closer look at the PC. The case is mostly plastic, which is expected, but overall it feels sturdy. On the front, our PC has a light indication, on the left side we have power button along with three USBs, and on the back side PC has a Kensington lock, then we have an audio port, an Ethernet port, two HDMIs, another USB, power port, and we also get VGA port on the right side. I think the port counting is very reasonable here, actually pretty nice for the price. On the bottom PC has rubber legs for stability and a bunch of cooling openings. I can see there is a fan and it moves air from top to bottom, so those cooling openings around the case on top are intake. The top cover is removable, if you remove the screw and move the switch it should come off. And here you can find a tray for storage upgrade. You have a cable ready for a 2.5 inch drive, very nice. I removed the tray, which is metal by the way, and under it I found a RAM and M.2 SSD sticks. I gotta say I'm impressed with the design. I really like how easy it is to add storage. You can just get 2.5 inch SATA SSD and install it probably in under 5 minutes. Time for the first boot. I just connected the power, HDMI and keyboard with the mouse. On the front we have a blue light and it loaded a Windows 11 setup. After I go through the setup, which takes some time, I always go to the Windows updates and install all available ones. It's worth dealing with it right away. All updates are done, let's see what we have here. On the board we have an Intel N95, which is a 4 core 4 thread CPU with a 1.7 GHz base frequency and 8 MB of L3 cache. Doesn't sound that impressive but it is for 15 watts TDP. Then we have a 16 GB of DDR4M which works on 2700 MHz in a single channel. Next we have a 512 GB SSD storage. Here is the benchmark, the Wi-Fi module also works pretty well and then we have an iGPU. It feels very nice seeing 16 GB of RAM and 512 GB of storage in this price range. Let's check the benchmarks. In Cinebench R23 PC scored 2200 points and in 3 mark I got at 350 points. Again for a 15 watt CPU I think it's pretty good. Speaking of cooling, even under load I can barely hear the fan. And the temps are staying under 60 degrees for the most part. Of course I'm gonna give it a try in games. In Valorant on low settings 1080p I got surprisingly playable around 70 fps. Although the frame time is not perfect and I'm getting some freezes from time to time. I tested a couple of single player as well. In the supermarket simulator I got 50 fps with low settings settings and around 60 fps in Hollow Knight with medium settings. Both games are easily playable. This mini PC is clearly not designed for gaming, but despite that you have some options, maybe even retro gaming. After using this PC for a while, I can say that it is not the fastest mini PC I used, but it gets the job done pretty well. It would be a great budget pick if you need a simple PC for everyday tasks, like browsing, checking emails, some office, handles YouTube as well, and unlike the big bulky desktops, it can quietly live under your monitor or even behind your TV. Let me know what you think about it, subscribe to not miss more content and I'll see you in the next video.